Hello everyone, Andrew and Ambrose here, and today we're going to plant our front step containers. I'm going to show you how to do that with only three plants to have some beautiful containers. So we are super excited because it's container time. I don't think we've done a container. No, we have not. In quite a while, and we're really excited because we're only going to try this time three plants usually up in the front i like to anchor the bottom of the stairs with these two pots but i like to put um instant impact i like to make sure that it's full of plants in there as many as i can squeeze in but we're gonna go ahead and try something different this time yeah and try plants that can actually that would actually fill out the container yeah, by so, only using three. Yeah, so the goal is to have a beautiful container garden without having to, you know, completely pack your containers with a numerous amount of plants and only using three plants so, you know, to save on budget as well. It's so we already went ahead and got our containers filled with soil. Now what Ambrose is doing is going ahead and putting the slow release fertilizer and we are going to go ahead and mix it into the soil. So with the slow release, what it does, it breaks up over a six months time period as it starts getting hot and humid, these capsules actually break down and continuously feed your plants throughout the, uh, the annual period for these plants. So this is one of the plants that we are going to be using in here and this is Truffula gumfrina, um, Truffula pink from Proving Winners and it gets big. That's one of the reasons, the huge yep. reasons why we want to go ahead and use this one. Oh yeah. So we will be putting information on the screen, um, but um, let me see how much, oh, the height is 22 to 28 and it will get up to 18, um, what is it, spread 18. up to 18 so, inches. So the, interest is, so the interesting thing with the truffle of pink is that it'll spread 18 inches, but the cool thing about it is the reason now we use this plant for a three plant container is because what truffle will actually do is it'll split and it'll fill in any gaps that are available for it to fill. So it's a wonderful plant to fill in a container of this size with only three plants. So I'm already planting it in. And I want this one towards the back. And we were looking at the flower before planting it. And it's just so pretty. They started to um, bloom not so long ago. And they are just the most prettiest little things inside of it. The yellow, what is it, like yellow little? Yeah, it's a, like a little yellow flower. I'll pop a picture up there. I actually took an awesome photo of it just so you guys can see it. Uh, absolutely amazing um, flower. Great thing about this plant too, it does really good in humid climates. Yep. It's drought tolerant as well. Um, and one thing that I really love about Gumfrina that I've used before is you can use it as cut flower and it will last for a very long time yeah, indoors. Definitely. So that's why. Okay. All right. We want to go ahead and show the next plant. So the next plant that we're actually going to use is a Super Bells called Holy Cows. Now, Angie wasn't that excited about it, but I will tell you right now, this is my favorite Super Bell. We used it before. I used it last year. I absolutely love this. It didn't work out the way I wanted it to last year because I had it with some, uh, some, uh, what was it? The strawberries. The strawberries. And unfortunately, you can't really uh, feed these annuals the same way you feed strawberries. Um, so, kind of excited to use this here because I think it's going to do exactly what I wanted to. But what this uh, Super Bell is going to be is going to be uh, the anchor on the outside of the container here. Now, the reason why I wasn't too thrilled is not that I do not love it. I, I love the flowers and the color. One thing is that usually we do not do go with so much color in the front of the, of the house. Um, but I went ahead and, and we, we decided that we we're going to do something more fun for the front of the house this year. Um, having everybody around the kids at home. Um, but we really... We've, we've grown before um, Super Bells, but they didn't do that great. Um, and it, of course, it's never the plant's <laughs> fault, it's our fault. Um, we were pairing it up with plants that would take too much water. Yep. Um, for example, we had it with, um, a, what was it, a prince tet and a potato vine. Yeah. Those asked for a lot of water. And so this is a, a reason why I'm excited to be growing it um, this year, because that way we can See how it does yep, in, this, in this container with these other two plants that are less, um, that are actually drought tolerant. What's the next plant we're using? Okay, so the next one, I know you're very excited for this <laughs> one. He's been wanting to be using this one since what, last year? Yeah, since last year. Go ahead. Oh, you can show it off because I already talked about it. Okay, so this one is Whirlwind Pink. 
And how big does this one? So this is a scaviola. Oh, uh, two. Uh, 8 to 14 inches. Now all of these annuals that we're using are full sun. Obviously it's going to yep. be at the front step and uh, south facing uh, of a garden. So it's going to get some great amount of sun over there. And this is another plant that's going like, um, going to get really big. Yep. That's another reason why we picked it. Um, because we wanted to fill out the container. Now this is a trailing plant. So it's going to be perfect for the inside of the, uh, of the steps there. And it's not something that's going to trail completely into the steps where you're going to break it as you walk by. It's going to it's going to fill, mount, and fall over, so it's going to be an awesome plant to have there. I'm definitely excited to use this one because these pink fan flowers are absolutely amazing. I know uh, we kept looking at it for quite some time before we actually got this container ready to go. So we're going ahead and um, putting some mulch in the container just so it will keep some moisture in there because it is going in full sun. Yeah. We don't want the soil to dry out on us. Yeah, so... Um, Pretty easy, quick and easy, three plant, uh, shall I call it three plant magic? I think so. Sure, let's go um, ahead and call it that. So, I know it doesn't look like much, but we picked out some plants that are really, really gonna fill out. And I know Angie talked about it, and we weren't big on doing the color up in the front, but I think it's gonna be very great to have because we haven't had the color, and because we live in such a small neighborhood and we have such a small garden, I think it's gonna put a smile on people's faces. We see people walk by, Yes. today and you know i've seen neighbors you know pass by we've had other plants up front and they just love it the children love it so much too yep. and they you know one great thing about having colorful containers and all these little um plants that um um na nature comes around oh yeah um, butterflies and you start seeing the hummingbirds already hanging out and for the they actually hang out in the front when oh, we yeah. put plants like this so for everybody else to be able to see that and enjoy it as well that's a plus. That's yeah. a huge plus to make other people smile, brighten up their day. Oh, yeah, definitely. So we're going to get these containers. We're going to place them up front, put them on drip, and then just watch them grow. And I think it's going to be very exciting. So uh, don't forget, guys, to follow us on YouTube to keep up to date with what we have going on, especially with these containers, because we're expected to see them really grow. Yes. Um, also on Instagram, Angie posts a lots of beautiful flowers. There and you will there. be literally watching them grow like every day. <laughs> yeah. I try to post as much as I can so y'all can see what's going on with every single plant and how it's doing. Yep. Okay, so that's going to do it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed what we planted here. We'll see you guys in the next video and happy gardening. Bye. <laughs>